the Epistle to Philemon. If the Epistle to Philemon was written about the time Colossians and the other prison epistles, Ephesians and Philippians were written, then it was written during Paul's imprisonment at Rome, sometime during the period of 61 to 63 AD. In this very short and personal epistle, Paul addresses it to Philemon, Appia, Archippus and to the church in their house. Philemon chapter 1 verses 1 to 3 Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus, and Timothy our brother, to Philemon, our beloved fellow worker, to the beloved Appia, to Archippus, our fellow soldier, and to the assembly in your house, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. After his salutation, Paul expresses his thanks for the noble qualities which have characterized Philemon in the past, especially his love for the saints. It is because of Philemon's past performance that Paul is confident his plea will be carried out faithfully. Philemon chapter 1 verses 4 to 7 I thank my God always, making mention of you in my prayers, hearing of your love, and of the faith which you have toward the Lord Jesus, and toward all the saints, that the fellowship of your faith may become effective, in the knowledge of every good thing which is in us in Christ Jesus. For we have much joy and comfort in your love because the hearts of the saints have been refreshed through you, brother. But it soon becomes evident that its contents are directed toward Philemon, a beloved friend and fellow laborer with Paul. Philemon chapter 1 verses 8 to 9 Therefore, though I have all boldness in Christ to command you that which is appropriate, yet for love's sake I rather beg, being such a one as Paul, the aged, but also a prisoner of Jesus Christ. Paul's plea concerns Onesimus. Onesimus had been one of Philemon's slaves. Philemon chapter 1 verse 16 No longer as a slave, but more than a slave, a beloved brother, especially to me, but how much rather to you, both in the flesh and in the Lord. Onesimus who had run away. Philemon chapter 1 verse 15 For perhaps he was therefore separated from you for a while, that you would have him forever. It appears that he somehow traveled to Rome where he found Paul and was converted to Christ. Philemon chapter 1 verse 10 I beg you for my child, whom I have become the father of in my chains, Onesimus Onesimus means useful. As a brother in Christ, Onesimus had made himself very useful to Paul in Rome. He had become very dear to Paul and was proving to be very useful. Philemon chapter 1 verses 11 to 13 Who once was useless to you, but now is useful to you and to me. I am sending him back. Therefore receive him, that is, my own heart, whom I desired to keep with me, that on your behalf he might serve me in my chains for the gospel. But because he still legally belongs to Philemon, Paul did not think it right to keep Onesimus in Rome, and was sending him back to Philemon. Philemon chapter 1 verse 14 But I was willing to do nothing without your consent, that your goodness would not be as of necessity, but of free will. This letter to Philemon is an appeal for him to receive Onesimus now as a brother in Christ and for him to forgive Onesimus if he had done any wrong. Philemon chapter 1 verses 15 to 17 For perhaps he was therefore separated from you for a while, that you would have him forever, no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, a beloved brother, especially to me, but how much rather to you, both in the flesh and in the Lord. If then you count me a partner, receive him as you would receive me. Paul also offers to pay any restitution which may be owed Philemon by Onesimus. Philemon chapter 1 verses 18 to 19 But if he has wronged you at all or owes you anything put that to my account. I, Paul, write this with my own hand, I will repay it not to mention to you that you owe to me even your own self besides. The epistle ends with a request for lodging in the near future. Philemon chapter 1 verses 20 to 22 Yes. Brother, let me have joy from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in the Lord. Having confidence in your obedience, I write to you, knowing that you will do even beyond what I say. Also, prepare a guest room for me, for I hope that through your prayers I will be restored to you. And with sundry greetings from individuals who are with Paul in Rome, Philemon chapter 1 verses 23 to 25 Epaphras, my fellow prisoner in Christ Jesus, greets you. As do Mark, Aristarchus, Demas, and Luke, my fellow workers. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen. The value of this epistle, this short, 
but valuable epistle has been described as a model of Christian courtesy a manifestation of Christian love a monument of Christian conversion perhaps this is why the Holy Spirit deemed it proper to preserve it for our benefit in studying Philemon to be impressed with the loving hospitality which characterized the Christians in the early church to learn lessons in the use of tact in dealing with others. The end of the epistle to Philemon goodbye.